When you start talking about ADSB, things get kind of cloudy because there's not a real true definition of exactly what that is yet. But it, it, we know it's going to be some part of, of next gen, which you heard Margaret and, and Craig talking about. So I'd like to break it down a little bit. Uh, we've got automatic dependent surveillance broadcast. So it's surveillance, which most of us these days think of as from a transponder, right? That's mm -hmm. when we talk about surveillance today. For most of it, it's like, you know, we're squawking 1200 or some other code if we're on an IFR flight plan. So that's really what surveillance is talking about. Um, and then we get to the dependence part, and, and uh, that's a little bit more confusing. And uh, who, uh, Tim, you, want, you, you guys work on ADSB a lot too. Do you want we to do. weigh in on that? As you said, the, the name is a bit, it's not very helpful, actually. But the, the dependent part of ADSB means that the system is dependent upon some certified government guaranteed infrastructure. And in this case, it's GPS. So some of the things you mentioned earlier, the high integrity GPS that you can use to position the aircraft and then tell everybody where you are is the dependence part of the system. Mm -hmm. and just, just to say one thing on the GPS. Any iPhone users? I, I, I use mine all the time. If you, if you use it for navigation, it's got a great little GPS in it. You can drive around. And it often tells you where you are. It, it's, it, it's really quite good at that. Um, for an airplane, that doesn't work. So for an airplane, the dependent part of the ADSB for the airplane means it's a GPS that, that knows where it is with a very high, a very high percentage of the time. And it knows that it knows where it is, which is also important because if it's off, it needs to tell you very quickly so you can do something different. And then lastly, it actually knows if it's going to know if it knows where it is. Because, well, for, for, for some, some procedures, you, you need to know when you get somewhere if the conditions are going to be poor, and maybe there's a satellite out, is your GPS still going to allow you to do the things you need to do when you get there? So, so that, that's the kind of GPS that's the dependent GPS that we're talking about in ADSB. David, you, you see what uh, an important role for ADSB in, in, the, in the next gen, next gen system. 100%. I mean, ADSB as a, as a notion, which is in effect knowing where you are, but not just knowing where you are, knowing where everyone else is, because within the infrastructure, um, your broadcasting position, velocity, intent, and so in effect, you could think of it as, as all of the teenagers of today, in uh, you know, living and immersed in a 3D digital world, 4D digital world, adding time to the dimension, and really knowing how to not only go from where you are to where you want to be, but knowing what's in the way, what may need to be coordinated, and so at that sort of philosophical level, ADSB, next gen, uh, the infrastructure. Uh, that that provides, as well as uh, some of the elements of automation that come on the back end of, of the technologies we're developing today, really sets the stage here to change the landscape of aviation. Because moving to the future, it becomes much more of an integrated air traffic space than a reactive air traffic space, where you can really plan what you're doing and you can really know what's happening way ahead of time. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.